So the special relationship seems like it's very glamorous and glorious, but actually it's very treacherous because look at psychologically how it sets us up. I think you complete me. This is, I found the one. So I have two very strong urges. That's number one, to make sure that you keep liking me. And number two, to make sure that you keep doing whatever it is that I need you to do to make me feel complete. Number one, I want you to keep liking me because I think you complete me. Therefore, I am tempted to not be real with you, to not be authentic with you, to not show you the truth of who I am because whatever I've been doing that you like, I want to make sure it, can, it continues so that you will continue to like me. So I'm always like falling over myself to posture to be what it is I think that you would want. That's number one. Number two, it actually tempts me to be more judgmental of you because I've seen you be this like perfect person and now, oh my God, you might, you might be real and have real issues and stuff like that. I don't know if I really want to see your real issues because I thought you were this perfect person who completed me. So you can see how a special relationship is just a mask dancing with another mask and it becomes a dance of death on a psychological and emotional level. A holy relationship. The Course in Miracles says, is the old special relationship transformed? And you enter into it from a completely different place. You enter in, into it from a knowledge and an understanding that we are here to heal. That's why souls are brought together. Souls are brought together for the purpose of enlightenment. And that is as true of a, of a, of a romantic relationship as much as any other. So by definition, your stuff's going to come up. And my stuff's going to come up. Why? Because we heal through a kind of detox. Your rough edges going to rub up against my rough edges. It's going to take a while, not the first couple weeks or the first couple months, sometimes not even the first couple of years, because there has to be enough glue to keep us together. And then the stuff will happen, meaning you will be tempted into your issues. I will be tempted into my issues. I'm going to trigger your mommy issues. You're going to trigger my daddy issues. And the ego, either in me or in you or in both of us, is going to say, I want out of here. Sometimes I've actually been in situations where I thought this was so terrible, but I felt like the voice for God was saying, oh, this is good. This is it. Because your issues are up. They're clear. Now, the other person is telling you, I don't like it when you did that. So you have a choice. And one choice is, I'm being told that that's a place where I'm not so cool. Is that other person going to be compassionate about what he or she sees in me? And am I going to own it? Because that's how things heal. When there is compassion, there is non-judgment, and there is non-violent radical truth-telling. The holy relationship is where we get that's why we're here. Of course your stuff is going to come up. And of course my stuff is going to come up. A holy relationship is like a hospital for the soul. The Course in Miracles says um, that relationships are laboratories of the Holy Spirit. And a holy relationship means this is it. That your worst was going to come up. My worst was going to come up. Let us hold this as a holy experience. And that is how we then move through it.